Hi all, Planetside Agent here. Today I thought I'd do a video on uh, my uh, vintage uh, Bluette stove. This is uh, another one of my stove videos and I've got a lot of stoves to go through, <laughs> probably through the winter. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is the, the original Bluette uh, propane butane stove. Uh, probably came out in the, in the 50s. This one's probably from that era, 50s, 60s. It's the predecessor of the one I showed you the, on my last video, which was the, the 200 series one. So it's kind of the predecessor to this one. It uh, kind of came in this cool little can, and uh, we'll open up and show you all the bits and pieces to it. So yeah, I got this on eBay a while back. So Anyway, the lid would come off to use this thing. You'd lift up the... See that okay? Uh, pot stands and slide out okay and then uh, the side here there's the the valve turn it on this one obviously is long gone <laughs> anyway yeah and then set your old pot on top and away you go so and then to pack it up these just would slide back in here. So it had, had kind of its own windscreen here. So it had some, the canister it came in, kind of acted like a windscreen and, a, and, a, and it would protect the stove. Let me show you some close-ups of this stuff here. Gas camping, bluette. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. If there's any French speakers, you can correct me. It's probably bluet or something like that, which no, I just use the American corruption. So little bits of it but then it had the the top part here and then to replace the the canister well you could take take this all out you could take this came out here the uh, the pot stand piece comes out and then on the bottom to, re to replace the cartridge you pull off the bottom part here and then you see the cartridge in there and then this would just pop out. It's in there pretty snug. Ah. Let's see if I can do this without ruining my hands here. Yeah, come on. It probably it probably went easier back in the, <laughs> when it was newer, but uh, that's why you carry your trusty Swiss Army knife here. Yeah. Here and get it started. There you go. There you go. Voila. Make sure it's all staying in camera. Got to steal here. So there's the the tin it came in, and here's the bottom part of the stove. It didn't have a, a flame spreader. The early ones, it was just the gas flame just shot up and that was it didn't have the spreader like you like a lot of the the newer ones has some kind of a sp spreader on it so like i say it's probably the original uh gas canister stove it's from france and um uh, yeah this one came with has a little canister in there and the way you'd replace the canister is you'd undo the just like the other the the original one where it screwed in and, and it punctured the can there's the Base, the little metal pin that would puncture the can and then there's the, the gasket that would seal it and then the, you have the, the valve. I think these originally came like this one did with a, uh, a little prick tool to, to clean out but that was probably lost long before whoever sold this to me on eBay <laughs> got a hold of it. So anyway then it just has to hold the canister in had these uh, three little clips Let's see if we can get them off without. Oops. Now yeah, get over here where I can. Come on. There we go. One. Oh. Two. And three. Gotta have a trusty knife of some sort. Anyway, and then the uh, cartridge. It's probably gonna be a little snug too. I can't remember where I pulled this cartridge off when I 
Clippers got this thing or not. Well, let's get back to the uh, the trusty Swiss Army knife. We'll just put a little pry there. There you go. That's a lot better than digging into your fingernails and ripping them out. So anyway, I probably should clean this out a little bit before I put it back together. All this aluminum's been. Yeah, it's pretty clean. There's not much. Uh, I don't know, it must have been stored somewhere. There's, you can just see a little bit of kind of corrosion here and there. And I think the inside was clean, except there was a little bit here. And then there was a little bit of, where was that other, right in here. A little bit of rust. But other than that, it's, you know, it's, it's in immaculate condition. A little binged up because it was actually used, I'm sure. But here's the little cartridges that, uh, that originally came with quite a bit of size different than the, uh, than the ones that came later. They said these would burn for about an hour, an hour and a half, and they say these, this size cartridge is good for about uh, four hours, so, which is pretty close. But this will get you through a, a weekend of cooking, because, you know, it takes about seven minutes or so for these to boil water, so you could probably get a couple of outings out of one of these little canisters, so. Pretty compact. This must have been for the American market, because they, uh, they, uh, they taped on some instructions on how to use it. And there's the top. Cartel and France cartridge butane for the individual bluette. <laughs> I don't read French, but you can figure it out. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, and then you'd, to, uh, you'd, so you'd put in your new cartridge that wouldn't have the puncher in there. Pop that in. Come on, oh, I see. Part of the problem is it's is that little uh, label. Yeah, let's do this. Kind of makes it. Uh, oops. Ah, it doesn't help if you get the. There we go. Pop that in. I'm get, keeping this on camera. I'm really bad about that. There, this one. And you snap those on. And it keeps the cartridge in there. Then you just take the, uh, the burner, screw it in, and as you screwed it in, a little metal pin would pop the can, and you're back in business. Then you put it back in here, put your pot stand back on. Open up your Pot stands out. Oops. There you go. I, should, I think if I was going to use this, I'd put uh, some silicon or something in here so it would come up and down. But, you know, after I'm done here, I'll put this all back together, put it back on my shelf. <laughs> That'll be, it'll sit there for forever until I croak and my kids resell all this stuff on eBay because, to be honest, this kind of stuff is their inheritance, so if they want money, they're going to have to figure out some way to sell all this. Anyway, yeah, the bottom cap came on. You can see it's been used. So, anyway, there you go, and then get your match and, whoops. Yeah, dummy. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Look, I put it back on wrong. Well, let's cut this all off again. I'm sure that uh, that's not the first time users of this stove ever did that, I'm not paying attention. It's a trouble with talking and walking, you know, walking and chewing gum at the same time. I don't think so. Anyway, this pops out. There you go. You want to center it in the little opening there. Now, put the bottom piece back on. There you go. Nice thing about the bottom piece, too, it kind of keeps it up off the ground so you're not conducting, you know, heat from the canister because these propane canisters, you know, if they're a little bit warmer, they'll pressurize better and you'll get a better flame. So, anyway, see the down in there. And when you're camping, just light it off and away you go. So, 
Anyway, then they're all done. These fold back in nicely. Lid back on. Drop this in your backpack, rucksack, and there you go. It's uh, kind of cool. I think uh, Bluet is stands for cornflower, which that's their little thing. Saw somebody said that in Canadian it stands for blueberry, but I don't know. But anyway, there it is. Great little stoves, like I said on my other video. I really love my original one. I've used the heck out of this thing. So anyway, uh, I think that's all I got to say on this. If I find some links to some other things, not a lot of, I couldn't find a lot of information on YouTube. I mean, YouTube, Google, or YouTube, I guess for that matter, on these old stoves. But uh, maybe I'll throw a few links. There's a thing on Wikipedia. And there's a, I think it's a Scottish Mountaineer Heritage Society. They got a lot of cool old gear, climbing gear and stuff in there. Uh, they have a museum, a collection of that stuff. Uh, I'll put a link to that also, their site. There's a lot of, they have a lot of cool stuff if you're into that mountaineering and all of that uh, stuff. So, yeah, antique things. So, anyway, that's it for the original Bluet uh, gas canister stove. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.